and I'm back. After a week hiatus, I miss you guys. Welcome to the show. This is your daily rundown on you. Why? 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 It's happy hour. The new PlayStation 4 jailbreak is a big deal. And it may work mm-hmm. on PlayStation 5 too, man. Can you can you help me out with this particular article? Because I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I can't be out on Jailbreak one. fan. Uh, um, it's where it's a kernel that runs on a new op, the new update to the OS 9.0, mm-hmm. and allows you to break break into the PlayStation. You can run different apps on your PlayStation 4 and your PlayStation 4 Pro, right? Okay. Right. The issue they're having with this is that it may work on PlayStation 5. Hmm. The problem you have there is people can actually legally download games put an app on it like an emulator or something and play all kinds right. of games off the off the console this is interesting i think that's dope man i remember when the first xbox came out man and it was almost like a thing that a lot of like i'd say like one out of every like 10 people like one out of every 10 folks i'd say one out of five let's get that better yeah let's be honest um, yeah. let's be honest we're like one out of five like i knew a lot of people that had like the uh the modded uh, Xbox 360s and those things were dope man like they had like 50 games on them uh, you could play online mm-hmm. in a whole different way outside of Xbox Live at the time when it first came out I'm hoping it's going to be something like that but then again I don't want to risk breaking my PlayStation 5 and never get another one again due to the <laughs> due to the shortages that's running oh, around yeah. I'm, I don't I'm, know if I'm you not going to risk it, it. I'm yeah, not I don't know if you want to risk it <laughs> this, this, but this is what, what Noel, uh, Noel Poulter spoke up a few hours later tweeting that the exploit was real and what's more the kernel exploit the jailbreak utilizes should work on PS5 as well however a PS5 version has not yet been created in part ah. due to the lead dev not having a PS5 so the only reason they don't have it for the PS5 is because, because of the, the shortage. Lead developer is shortage. <laughs> wow! Who knew the supply chain would end up being the hero at the end of this? For no, no, the supply so chain yeah. issue. <laughs> Most notable because prior exploits required would be exploiters to keep their systems on older firmware versions that most people have already left behind. Ah, uh, okay. So, All right. but at least you tried. Good try. Yep. <laughs> so this is why you don't update your console you let it sit on the old firmware because somebody makes an exploit <laughs> <laughs> hey man but you know what though this is just an inevitability that's going yeah. to happen yeah it's, it's going to happen yeah, yeah. i mean they're, they're going to get hacked and there'll be new ways of soldering chips to your playstation 5 or whatever but like like we said before um and we said in the previous show oh. like one of my one of my hot takes is i think this will be the last the last generation of consoles and you won't have to you know uh, companies don't have to worry about that anymore because everybody will be playing from the cloud play from the cloud yeah uh, the yeah. funk said the M- microsoft elite controller is expensive partially because they had the license scuffs patent but well, yeah so, give me a scuff we'll, one we'll i'm not as happens. hardcore on that we'll see what happens when the consoles go away it's gonna be a sad day in gaming i say yeah, I, said, I said microsoft microsoft will continually make a console because they want to make something cheap that everybody can play so they're like, you know, you can't rely on people to get home in PCs. PCs have a lot of friction to get into. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I don't think it's going to be like cold turkey. They're just going to take all hard. It's going to have a shows. box. It's not going to be like that. I think I think it's just going to be an older version of the of the X and the S that's already out, and the PlayStation Five will be older versions of that to allow those people who don't have the internet speed in order to do streaming. The infrastructure is just not set up in their community, and they still want to play games. But as far as them dropping like brand new hardware, I just don't see that happening no time soon. It's because yeah. it's the writing is too much on the wall. Like PlayStation yeah. just announced their whole new streaming service that they have. I mean, as far as like the pandemic winner when it came to gaming was the Xbox Game Pass because you were able to play almost everything. Um, we're seeing. I, I think they'll, uh, I think they'll make one more version, and it'd be optimized to play cloud, play cloud gaming. It'd be designed yeah. just for cloud gaming. And they da, take da, these losses. Da. They take a loss every console. I'm, I'm they sure do. they're sick they of taking do. a loss. They do. You know, and be do. like, we're just going to turn into a software production house and a distributor of other people's software. Yeah. So I think they'll just make they make something like Apple TV. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, made you know, for streaming a pup. And then we'll uh, go ahead and board up GameSpot 
GameStop. <laughs> well, GameStop is pivoting. The last hard. Gasp. When's the last time you've been in the GameStop? Golly, couple few months. It's been a while. I'll go in. Oh man, you see very few games in GameStop. They have two walls of games, and everything else is toy. And yeah, you games. know what though? I but the last time I was there, yeah. it was a lot of it was a lot of shirts. I saw a lot of t-shirts, shirts, t-shirts, stuffed animals, it's, toys. It, it's turned um, into it turned into what Spencer's. It's you're right. Oh my God, Spitzer's still in business? The people yeah, they still in business. Know about Spitzer? Spitzer's it's still around. It's a hot topic, baby. It's a hot topic <laughs> with games. Oh, yeah, man. man. They got it. They doing it. They doing their thing. Well, you know, I'm a survivor. They are. We'll see. We'll see. I'm surprised they're still here, though. I am too, man. <laughs> the I just knew they were done. Kept them alive. The, the fake stock, man. People drop money and dump money into the company. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, between companies like that and Netflix, I just don't understand how they stay afloat. I know they have a financial model that obviously mm-hmm. works. You mean Netflix? I just don't know. I just don't know how it works. Yeah, <laughs> like because <laughs> they got over two hundred million people paying fifteen dollars a month. They ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I mean, obviously they're not going anywhere. <laughs> they're, I mean, going they're, they're, they're the hottest. They're the hottest platform out. Yeah, but um, but still, you know, I, I keep. They kind of won. Like, they kind of won the platform game. Well, at least for now. Right now, yeah. right now, yeah. No, yeah. there's no winners, really. You know who's the winner? <laughs> only whoever, winners. Can, whoever owns Silicon. I'm trying to put all my money into Silicon. <laughs> <laughs>